Oh boy, are we back with some updates. Um, I don't know what they did, but like, the most recent update that just came out, they kind of broke a bit of the game. The Valentine's chests, there's currently a bug going around, at least especially. It seems like it affects Origins as a whole. Um, the chests just go invisible and you can't collect them, and the only way to like, get it to fix is by leaving and rejoining, but you have to be quick about it because they disappear pretty quickly. And for the most part, it's only affected me with the Valentine's chest. I haven't had an issue with the Origins chest, but other people have said that the Origin chests also disappear. Along with, I've noticed that because I've been breeding Shadow Amps and the Shadow Amps won't come with the Shadow trait anymore. So I don't know if that was intentional or that's also broken because they added something else which I'll tell you about in a second here after this. This is what they apparently did here. Um, they changed- there are a few things here that I like that they did change. The- I, the ability to sell revive hearts, I didn't even know that you couldn't, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I wonder how much they sell for, because I have like 3,000. Um, same with the favorite dragon sorting. I always thought that was a thing, but if it wasn't, then I'm assuming quite a few people are happy about that. Uh, added sorting tooltips when mousing over sorting buttons in the inventory. No, I, that, that I didn't even notice either, but the PA system is nice. They added a PA system where they can tell you if, like, the server's gonna shut down or, like, they're updating the game prior to doing it instead of just magically, you know, you're in the Undercity and it just goes, Dragon Adventures is being updated just randomly out of nowhere. And you're like, bro, I was about to sell my dragon! <laughs> Ooh. So I didn't know that there was no species search in the stables either, which has also been added, but that's great because there are quite a few times that I would look for something and I'd search by species and I just assumed that it was bugged or something because it would pop up, but no, that's great. Um, the legacy model, I, I know, I read, I read the green ones first, the gray ones up here. The legacy model, they added the image, I don't know what that is, I haven't seen that, I know what the legacy model is, that's the model of dragons that have been updated and they still have the old model. That would be the legacy model. Uh, but the image of the dra- Oh, so will it just show that image of the old- oh, okay. I thought that was already in-game! Anyway, I do like the new GUIs for the trade and party requests. So it- like, if you're doing a- it now shows up at the bottom of your screen. I should have got, like, a clip of it. But it now shows up at the bottom of your screen and it looks nicer instead of being, like, right in the middle of your screen. I can't tell you how many times I've like, been in a race or doing something and someone sends me a trade request and it just pops up on the screen and ruins my flow, especially with racing. And yes, I turn my trades off, but usually I do friends only. Um, unless someone on my friends list likes to spam, then I turn it off. But I've had friends who, who are like, alright, I'm gonna trade you now and send a trade request mid-race and I can't even type and be like, hold on, because I'm trying to finish the race. Um... The dragon overhead name, they did not- okay, it says here they reduced loading times of the game. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't- it seems like they, instead of reduced, they like, made it longer. I don't know why, but now every time I load into the game, it takes ten times longer for me to load in than it did before. So I don't, I don't know how true that one is. Maybe they'll fix it. Maybe that was their intention, but that seems to be currently broken. Um, at least for me. I know a lot of people have been complaining about lag and Origins not like rendering in right either. Um, reform- I seen this. Okay, so they reformed the dragon overhead name, the UI. To, but it like, it's kind of bigger. It's a little annoying now. To me, it doesn't really matter. I wish you could turn that off. Maybe you can, I just don't know about it. Like like how it shows the health bar and the name of the dragon above it. Because I've noticed- but you can only see it on certain people's dragons. At least for me, I was only able to. I don't know. That one's- eh, it's whatever. Um, I didn't notice the mobs. I'll have to look at that. But I guess in other words, they made the, the name bigger, which is fine. The title, the Ultimate Dragon Adventure title, by what this says, I'm assuming, instead of requiring you to own 
each dragon in the game with full mutations. It now says own 100 dragons from the game with full mutations. So I don't know if that just means you can have like 100 SARS full mute, or if it still means just at least 100 different dragons from the game. It doesn't say different, so I think they might have changed it to just having 100 dragons with full mutations, which is nice. I never really went for the title because it's it's kind of hard. I mean, it's meant to be an endgame title, but the full mutes is not an issue for me. It's more like the getting the dragons I don't have. The cost Dragula, I can get whatever if I need to, but like I'm not too worried about that. It's just the Vadriki that I'm having an issue with because it's so expensive. So I kind of wasn't really going for the title, but I hope the people who already have the title and went through all that work don't mind this change. I don't think they will, as it still requires quite a bit. And they still have that amount, which is fine. But other than these updates, they are... This is what was updated, along with this. They added new stuff for the Valentine's event, which I love. I've been wanting a Valentine's nest. They added a nest that you can put in your base. I, got, I had the Christmas ones that were decorated at my base. I love the new Valentine's nest. I just, oh, I already slapped them all in my base <laughs> where all my incubators are. But on top of that, they also added love it. Like, I call it love aura, but it's called loving aura. I love it. It is so cute. I have bred Amphils with love aura. Um, and speaking of which, here is, so there'll be Love Tail Aura, or Loving Tail Aura. Loving Head Aura. And just Loving Aura all together. And the, the only way that I know of to get Loving Aura is by breeding a dragon with Love Tail and Love Head, and it makes Loving Aura. To get Love Tail and Love Head, it's just kind of random. These auras will only be available to breed during the valentine's event though after the event they will be gone you won't be able to get them then so if you already have it you have it but if you don't you're not going to be able to get it unless you buy it off of somebody so i'd say get these as quick as possible they are so cute they look so good on strawberry milkshake dragons i cannot wait until they add more auras because they are really cool i i know my friend is trying to get loving aura on the desi that's not gonna be easy i'm still trying to hatch desis that's uh, another thing, okay, here's the, the update about the Lunar New Year, the UGC. Um, we were supposed to get a free UGC, not everyone, but like, it was like, if you do so many missions before everyone else, you would have gotten a free Fulong hat. But, uh, the dev said that there was something wrong with Roblox, it's not their fault, it's Roblox's fault, that there's like this whole, uh, exploit going out where people are able to get free UGCs without completing any of the missions and they wanted to keep it fair for everybody instead of everyone just getting exploiting the crap out of it so instead of making it uh, um, the missions and free they had no choice but to make it Roblox or Ro Roblox Robux sorry my mom says Roblox every time she talks about Robux <laughs> it's kind of funny but um they did say that it does cost a lot of ro Robux for them to put out free UGC for missions and that if they did that and people were just getting it for free without doing the missions they'd just lose a lot of money and it, would, it just wouldn't be fair. So it's it's not even that much. I didn't get it because I don't have Robux to get it but like if you want it it's in the uh, UGC shop in uh, Undercity. But the next thing- oh my god. The next season dragon. I'm sorry. I don't know what- <laughs> It's cute. It's cute, but like, hold on. What is that? <laughs> oh my god. I I love it. I do love it. It's it's cute, but it's like it's like out of place. It's so it's so weird. <laughs> I was not expecting that. The like I are the, like the flap I swear if those little flower things on its back are wings, I'm gonna laugh. That <laughs> I don't think it flies. That would be funny, but I don't think it flies. But it looks like we got our second three-headed dragon in game, which is actually kind of exciting. I wonder if this- 
Do you think this is foreshadowing that the next remodel is going to be the Alanoth? That is in dire need of remodel. I mean, come on. <laughs> the Alvernoth needs help. It's like that one dragon that nobody wants. And I, I think I think that the Alvernoth could be a really cool dragon. Like, look at this. Look, they did this with three heads. That is a really nice design. It's funny looking, but it's a really nice design. I can't, I can't wait. We got currently four days as when I'm making this till the next season. This will be the next season dragon. I'm not even going to try and say that name. I will butcher it. You know what? Fine. Hold on. F Florianthus. F flower? Flo uh, you know, Florianthus. That's not... You know what? We're just gonna call it the floor. The flower. Floweryanthus? Fla I wonder... They should've just named it Chrysanthemum. No, that's just a flower. That's cool. I like that. Lavender Titan. Good name. It looks like a breaky. Bronchi? Breaky? The big dinosaur with the... I just need to... <laughs> On to the next update, which I'm also excited for. Shadow Altar. I hope they do change somewhat how the Shadow Altar works. They did say a few months back that they were going to make the Shadow Altar like add more ways of getting the Shadow Eggs. Like it's still going to be donate and so many eggs will be available, but they were going to add other ways instead of just sitting at the altar or just fighting mobs that there will be mobs specifically for the Shadow Altar that have a chance of dropping eggs. Stuff like that. That would be nice if they did, but that's not what this update's about. This update, they are adding a new Shadow Altar Dragon. Coming March, hopefully. I'm not gonna guarantee it. It does say I expect to see this new dastardly creature in the Shadow Altar come March, but not gonna guarantee it. I hope so, though. I uh, Speaking of which, I did see... You know what? It probably will come in March, because for, like... Like an hour, my um, Dragonpedia said one out of three. 103? Not one out of three, 103. And I saw that the creature, which I will show you here, is gonna butcher the name again. Or Taruk. Or Taruk. That. That was in my Dragonpedia. Um, which I'll actually put up on the screen because I did get a screenshot of it. There was no picture for the dragon, so I'm assuming the bottle isn't finished yet. But it it had the dragon in my Dragonpedia, along with the season dragon, which wasn't supposed to be in the Dragonpedia. But now it's not there. Like, they removed it. I don't know why. They could have just left it chilling there. But the, the season dragon model, I'm assuming, is finished because the picture was there. But for this one, it wasn't. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what, why that's there, but if you want to read the inscription before the Shadow Dragon comes out, you can be the first. <laughs> I'm kidding. But so far, those are all the updates that I'm seeing. I'm sure there's others. We're still waiting for the PvP, because PvP and the PvP world and the PvP world dragons should be coming out. Don't know when. There is no set date. Um, the next Guild Wars isn't announced, but uh, for like via the pattern that's currently going on, I'm assuming Guild Wars won't be for another couple of months again. Which is, for me, I'm fine with that, because we do have the Easter event coming up after. We also have St. Paddy's, which isn't normally a big event, but it's still an event nonetheless. And then obviously the next Season Dragon and the Shadow Altar update. So, and I'm, I'm going to go with PvP is probably going to come out before next Guild Wars. I think that was their goal. That's just me guessing, though. That's not. That wasn't stated saying, oh, this is guaranteed. Plus, we have more dragons coming out that are gonna be breedable. Like, I don't know which ones yet, but once I do, I will make a video with the next updates. And hopefully, they fix the glitches that are currently going on because they are quite annoying. Because I like that five free boxes of chocolate out of the chests today, but which I can't get because I'm not fast enough to get the stupid chest before they go invisible. But, yeah, with that, that's pretty much all the updates I know about right now. Tell me which one you're most excited for, because I know I'm excited for quite a few. The first few are already out. <laughs> the rest of them. Though, I think that, you know, I think the one I might be most excited for is... Probably the Shadow Altar Dragon. It does look pretty cool. That, that's actually real, and I don't even care, it doesn't even look like it's a flyer, and I don't care. That looks like a really cool jumper. Okay, so that could be rambling.
see you in the next video.